All right, in this scene, we're going to talk about the thiazide diuretics. And we're going to remember this scene is about the thiazide diuretics, because if you take a look at the walls over here, we see the tie-dye art over here. So tie-dye for thiazides. So let's start off with what the thiazide diuretics are. So let's take a look at this hydrant over here. We see a hydrant over here who's about to eat dinner. This hydrant over here is tie-dyed. The hydrant that's tie-dyed for hydrochlorothiazide. And he's eating cauliflower salad, as we can see. The cauliflower salad for chlorothalidone. And he's got this metal laser gun over here for methazone. And on top of him, we have this mime over here who's trying to tap dance on top of him. So tap dancing mime for entapamide. These are the thiazide diuretics as well as the thiazide-like diuretics that we want to be aware of. We're not going to distinguish between thiazides and thiazide-like diuretics because they have the same basic mechanism. Let's talk about it. So thiazide diuretics inhibit the sodium chloride reabsorption in the early distal convoluted tubule. In this toilet over here, we see a salt shaker going down out of the collecting duct of this nephron that's on the toilet. This helps us remember that thiazide diuretics work by inhibiting the sodium chloride reabsorption in the early DCT, leading to a decreased diluting capacity of the nephron, and thus sodium will go out. And of course, water follows sodium, and that's what makes thiazide diuretics, diuretics. But the important thing that we want to remember is that as sodium is lost from the cell, it ramps up the sodium calcium exchanger. This will lead to increased calcium reabsorption. And that's why we find over here on the table, this huge cheese over here. Cheese in our videos represents calcium. Calcium will be spared. Thiazide diuretics are calcium sparing diuretics. And in fact, they're used to treat, or at least slow the progression in osteoporosis in this fashion. This skeleton, or we'll call it this osteo with roses, osteo roses for osteoporosis. Under the osteo with roses over here, we see this heart over here for heart failure. Thiazide diuretics, as a diuretic, is used to treat edematous conditions such as heart failure. Up here, the blood pressure cuff next to the hydrant over here reminds us of the hypertension. It's actually first line therapy for hypertension. And of course, it's used to treat idiopathic hypercalciuria. If we want to salvage the calcium from the urine, we would give a thiazide diuretic. Finally, we notice this insect guy with pus who showed up in our diabetes insipidus video. And we notice the diabetes in the insect pus. Diabetes in insect pus for diabetes insipidus. Thiazide diuretics are used in the treatment of nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. Okay, now let's talk about adverse effects. First thing we note over here is this unicorn over here running away from the house. Maybe he's scared of the osteo with roses. Maybe he's scared of the insect. I don't know. But this unicorn that's going up, we'll call it the hyperunicorn for hyperuricemia. Thiazide diuretics can lead to hyperuricemia as they lead to increased levels of uric acid. We note that this unicorn is on top of this surfboard for sulfa allergy. Sulfonamide thiazide diuretics can lead to sulfa allergy. This unicorn has big lips or hyper lips for hyperlipidemia. And he's trying to eat this cheese and this candy. The cheese that's high up for hypercalcemia. Of course, thiazide diuretics can lead to hypercalcemia because they lead to reabsorption of calcium. We also see the sugar over here, the candy for sugar or hyperglycemia. Since the thiazide diuretics tamper with serum glucose levels, they can lead to hyperglycemia. But what are things that are decreased? Here we see the banana going down. Banana in our videos represents potassium. Potassium going down reminds us of hypokalemia, specifically hypokalemic metabolic alkalosis. And we also see the salt shaker going down over here to remind us of the hyponatremia. Of course, since thiazide diuretics lead to increased sodium excretion, an adverse effect may be hyponatremia and the symptoms associated with that. All right, I hope you enjoyed this scene on the thiazide diuretics. Stay tuned for our next video and take care.